All right, guys, GoodOldBoy32 here checking it out. So I wanted to punch out a real quick video because I'm getting ready to start a really cool build here. And as a matter of fact, this is going to go together. So M4 E1 upper and lower receiver set, air precision, uh, nickel boron bolt. We've guys seen this uh, re recently on a video. Uh, we're going to go with a Delton two-stage trigger, which, by the way, I think this is probably one of the best bets out there. I've done a lot of videos on this thing, and I've got them in several of my rifles. I'm uh, going to go with a CMMG lower parts kit, BCM. M Mod 3, the my favorite grip besides what I put on those competition rifles with IWI stuff. And just a traditional uh, Yankee Hill machine, both gas block and the uh, this guy right here. What do you call this thing? This is a, a flash hider. Love this one. This is probably one of the most effective flash hiders out there. Uh, simple and easy and economical. All right. But... What do, oh, another thing we're testing out is this guy right here. Ooh, Rainier Arms. This is their Avalanche. This is their Mod 2. This thing is bad to the bone, and I am really looking forward to uh, putting this guy out there and testing. We'll do a review on this one uh, on its own because I think it deserves it. All right, so what are we doing? The title of the video was this BCM thing right here. And <laughs> Real quickly, uh, this is... A real neat stock system. And I bought all this stuff off of Big Daddy Unlimited, by the way. And uh, what is this guy? This is this is their SOCOM version of their uh, gunfighter uh, stock. Okay. This kit, and the reason I like this kit is uh, it comes with everything on it. Now, I'll go ahead and preface this. I've actually had only one issue with BCM products, and that was with the um, buffer tube. And what I want to do is I want to bring this out. I want to show it to you guys, and uh, let's take it and weigh it and see what the advantages are. Now, I've had a couple BCM gunfighter stocks in the past. I always, uh, for some reason, I, I never really quite understood why. Well, I liked it, but I got rid of it. But this one, this is different. So anyway, we've got a regular standard buffer and a regular old spring here. Uh, and I will tell you this right now, the my pet peeve, and one of the reasons why I order a lot of Veltor products is their tubes are amazing. Castle nut looks good. That's not aluminum castle nut. This also comes with the QD mount. I love that, the base plate. QD base plate, absolutely awesome. But let's look at this. I, I'm in love with this guy already. She's a clunker. Looks like a hammer, doesn't it? It's pretty cool. You got a little hook right there for a rubber band or a strap or ranger band. And man, that is really, really, really nice. Let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and take it off there. But one of the things I want to do is show you guys the inner workings of this buffer tube. Now, the first thing I'll do I'll take it and I will take a pick like this. And what I'm searching for are machining uh, ridges. Because what they have to do, they got to drill this thing out. And not bad. You still get a little, little noise in there, but it's not that bad. Let's do this. I want real quickly, I want to take and compare this with the Veltor uh, tube. Stand by. All right, so what we got, this is the uh, Elite build. And the tube that I picked for this was the Veltor five position uh, buffer tube. This, in my opinion, is probably one of the best manufactured buffer tubes out there. And what I'm going to show you is this. Now, the buffer tube itself, I think, is like $35. You can get the uh, Veltor kit on, um, anywhere with the, uh, the EMOD stock and the buffer spring and the buffer for like 150 bucks or something like that. But it's worth it. Now, what I want to show you is this. Taking the pick, I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to hold that up to the microphone so you can hear it. All right? You guys hear that. Very, very smooth. This is the BCM buffer tube. I'm going to hold it up to the microphone so you can hear it. Veltor. What does that translate to? It translates to a very smooth, when you pull that back, you're not hearing that, <laughs> the rasp noise. Is that a showstopper? No. If you're really picky about things, yeah. But the cool part about this guy right here is this is not for show, this is for go. 
And we always have to keep that in mind. Let's see, the one problem that I had in a previous, uh, I wanna say, build that I did was, okay, so we <laughs> wrestled that thing off there. The only problem I've ever had with a BCM product and I actually did a, vi a video on it, and it was a long time ago, was the channel right here was not centered. It was actually skewed over to the side. So it actually made it out of their facility like that. But I'm gonna tell you something, overall, very nice buffer tube. But here's the kicker, man. This is <laughs> the really neat thing, and this is one of the reasons why I like this, is that you have over here, let me get it. Pull that out there's a beautiful storage facility in here storage facility storage absolutely awesome I like that because it reminds me of the uh, takedown pin or pivot pin but you put that in there bring it in and you're click it and you're in like Flynn uh, nice rubber on this as well so when you're putting her down you don't have to worry about it shifting Got a really cool area right here, so if you wanted to, you can go ahead and bring in and put your shoulder sling in on that. But I like it also that you have this big area so you can extract it. A lot of times, guys, uh, in the real world, you bring that thing where you want it and you leave it. You're not bringing your stock in and out. I do also like it because, man, it is tight as it can be. But the mere fact that this thing is absolutely tight Look at it. I mean, even as you're just putting it in there, there's no movement back and forth. And that is actually one of the reasons why I absolutely love these stocks. Let's go ahead and put her back on. There we go. Boom, you're done. So let's just go ahead and give it a little quick rundown, take a look at it. You got some texturing underneath here. Uh, really cool there. Like that rubber padding. Cheek weld up here is extended. Very nice. Anyway, I really wanted to share this with you because I felt like this is uh, something that is really, really cool. We've got a bunch of really interesting builds that are coming up. And uh, man, I tell you what, look at that. Interlocked right there, so you're not gonna have any issues with it coming off. Bring it back, punch that in there. You can put, I don't know, spare batteries, something. Stuff some stuffing in there so they don't melt, rock around. But man, I tell you, I'm enjoying this. All right. Well, let me know what your thoughts are, your experience on uh, using BCM products. I'm looking forward to putting this guy together. And then uh, we've got a bunch of other stuff coming up here real soon as well. So, Boy 32 if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. So freedom is not free. I'm talking about those people who fight for our Constitution as it was written by the Founding Fathers. Boy 32 I'm out of here. Y'all be good.